Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to create a roof and I'm going to consider a parapet. So you remember that we created a group out of the wall, so I'm going to double click so the group opens. And uh, in this group, I actually want to separate the interior walls because they're going to uh, end up being shorter so we can have a parapet um, around the exterior walls. So, uh, now that the group is open, I need to draw some lines here, over there, excuse me, it needs to just stop over here, over there, uh, and I'm going to also stop it around here, I have a different plan with this part. So this is going to stop here, and here as well, and here as well. Okay, this seems about right. Let me select this part, and I want to push it. So P, this part is going to go up. Now it's all good. So how about I go with 3.4. The number is going to show on the right side at the bottom of the page, 3.4. Uh, and feel free to delete these lines, we don't need them right now. Uh, make sure that you are still in the edit mode, which means that the group, the wall group, is open. Okay, that, that looks good. Everything is good. Now for the interior walls, I want to go with the lower uh, actually push or pull. So I want to type P here, select this, and I want to go with maybe 2.2. Uh, so that looks good. And then we're going to have the roof around here. So I want to go with a tape measure, T is going to end here. Maybe I can also go with one over here. And you see it's 1.2, that's good. So about 20-30 centimeters would be the thickness uh, of the roof and the rest is going to be uh, the height that we have for the parapet. So that's, uh, that's all good. Also I would suggest that uh, maybe you close the group right and now I want to draw one rectangle so I want to go with R from here to that corner right so how about I hide uh, the walls that's good now this I can make a group out of it so I'm gonna select it make a group this is gonna be our roof group I want to double click on it so we can push. I'm going to go with P. Let's go with 0.3 centimeters. So this is our group. Feel free to assign materials. Uh, the material on top can be different than the one from bottom. So later when you take renders and everything, your material is different. So you don't need to assign the material to the whole group, but just double click on top. And now we're going to assign roof materials one of these maybe over here actually click on it once and click here now you see uh, the material is different on the two sides I want to go with view hidden object so I can unhide this group here so that's how you can take care of the parapet uh, another thing we need to do is that we need to hide the roof and uh, I remove just the hidden objects for now. Uh, and here we're going to have actually two different materials above the roof and below the roof, which is inside and outside, right? So uh, I also want to double click on the group for the walls. And when it's open, I want to draw one line here. You can delete these two surfaces. Now this surface can have a different material rather than this one and all these interior ones. Also here, so another L from here to here, delete this, another one over there, L. 
Notice that if you hit space, it's going to automatically move to selection tool. I'm going to delete this one and this one, and maybe one last line over there. Space, this can go away. So now uh, it's good later if you want to work on the interiors, uh, it's going to have different material uh, inside and above the roof. Uh, then feel free to also delete these lines. Actually, it's inside the group. Those lines, the reference lines, were drawn inside the group, so you need to double click and then delete the lines. Otherwise, it's going to delete the group as well. Double click elsewhere, and we can bring back the hidden objects. Uh, right click and unhide. 